This is Susanna Bowling, and this is the Times Square Beat, and we are with Deborah Jo Laffer, who's got a brand new play coming to primary stages, which is part of Ensemble Studio Theater as well, so the two companies have combined. Deborah, tell us about your show. Um, it's a play based on a court case between the, a Native American tribe that lives in the floor of the Grand Canyon and Arizona State University, and it really deals with... Um, science and religion and when the two sort of beat up against each other uncomfortably. Is the religious part the tribe? Yeah, the tribe believes that they sprang forth from the Grand Canyon, um, but they have the third highest rate of diabetes in the world. So Arizona State University took their blood samples to do diabetes studies, but they also um, did other studies, and including uh, tracing their geographical origins back to Asia. And uh, that was devastating to the tribe because it contradicted their creation story. Were they allowed to take the blood samples originally for the diabetes? Well, what I didn't realize when I started writing the play is that this was a landmark case. And informed consent and what's required in, an, in a consent form now is really changed because of this case. So at that time, she probably pushed it pretty far. But now, now laws have changed, so... Uh, people can't do what, what was done. I can't even imagine the tribe saying yes to having their blood samples taken in the first place. Yeah, that's a really good point. They, they consider their blood sacred. They've never given it for any kind of research at all, but it's an epidemic. There's only a, a little over 600 tribe members left. They're, they're really isolated, and almost 50% of the tribe has diabetes, so it was a desperate situation. You know, so it's a clash of cultures. People perhaps well-meaning, but not understanding each other. So the play looks at how, how much you really need to go into depth to understand another culture, and also how much we want to know now that we can know things about ourselves through our genome. How much do we want to know? Uh, it's something that we all have to grapple with in a way our parents never did. Now, what would you like the audience to take away from your play? I guess uh, mostly more questions about... Um, about how our world is changing when, uh, with scientific breakthroughs. I find every breakthrough in science absolutely thrilling, but it always comes with a lot of ethical and uh, emotional issues that maybe are sometimes slow to catch up. And when does this play open? It starts previews August 4th. It opens August 18th. And how long does it run till? It runs till September 13th. We are with Myra Lucretia Taylor. Tell us a little bit about your role in the play. Oh, I play many roles. I play the dean of the university that Jillian works at. I play two mothers. I play a native mother, and I play the lead character's mother, and I play a character in her mind that functions kind of like a dean, a dean in her mind. Now, you were in the revival of Nine. Who did you play in that? Saragina. Ah. Be Italian. That's like one of the best roles in the whole show. I loved it. A lot because Antonio's head was in my bosom. <laughs> and you're doing a lot of TV right now. Can you tell us a little about your work in TV? Well, I did a few episodes of Girls, which was really, really, really fun. I mean, Lena is a wunderkind, and the work on set is, you know, there's a script, but you improvise. And we put in the best ideas. And so it just feels very free and creative. So all at once, you're a, an actor, a director, a writer. They're very good over there. That was fun. Now, can we see you in anything that's up and coming besides the show? Well, there are some things in the works, but I'm going to let them settle. We're with Delena Studi. Delena, who do you play? I play Arella Namita. She is the representative for the tribe that Jillian goes to in order to do this, the diabetes study. So really, it's two women against each other. <laughs> yes, basically. And it's these two ideas. And that's one of the things I love about the play was it's these two strong women that get to take center stage. And it's this science and religion kind of battle. And as a Native person from Oklahoma, I'm an enrolled member of the Cherokee Nation, it was very important for me to have these issues brought to light because we don't normally get to play contemporary women. In being somebody from a tribe... Do you find it hard to, f if science does disprove the mythology of it all? Well, what's fascinating is science has tried to disprove the mythology of it all. And then what happens is, in a few years, it's disproven. 
And so uh, for us, we were told that we came through on the Bering Strait. And we said, no, we always were in what is now North Carolina. And what happens? They found bones in that area that date 25,000 years ago before the Bering Strait was even formed. So we're like, see, we told you. <laughs> so um, sometimes, you know, science can back up our faith. But at the same time, you know, if that's someone's story, if that's their truth, then who's to take that away from them? Absolutely. And what would you like audiences to take away from this play? Oh, my goodness, there's so many things. Um, to, to be respectful of each other, and even though we may not agree with each other's truths, that's what we hold sacred, and that's what's near and dear. And so, you know, on a more, like, political realm, it's, you know, there are Native issues going on today that no one talks about because we make up less than 2% of the population. So learn that. Be an ally. And so, you know, there's that's a great part of this play is, you know, there was an opportunity that was missed because someone's truth felt stronger than someone else's. And so just be appreciative of those differences and acknowledge those differences. This year, a lot of the plays are about identity and how we label our own selves and then stick ourselves in boxes and then we don't know who our identity is. Does this answer the question of that this in this play? Oh, no. I think what this play does is makes you question what identity is. Who are we? Are we the person we see in the mirror? Who are we our gen genomic sequence? Are we a member of this nation? Who are we at our root core? And so if anything, I, I would like to think that when people, the audience, come see the show, they're going to leave asking more questions and really wanting to do that own personal research about who they are and where they came from.